All right. So, welcome to week two, Fuel for Life. Uh, it looks like just the three of us today, so um, everybody else hopefully will watch online and uh, comment. Um, Brian and Tuh. 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 I can never, I'm like, ah, okay. Love you. Love you. <laughs> And, uh, and you weren't here last week, but uh, did you watch last week's video? Okay, perfect. Um, so at least you're caught up as to where we are at. Um, is this a good day for you, or Wednesdays are not good? It's never really good. What day is it good? Yeah, yeah. Friday nights, okay. Um, Yes, yes. Um, and Fridays might work for me going forward. I'll need to check with Abby. And maybe I'll just put a little um, poll on Facebook yeah. and say, because I think the options that we would have, because I know that Abby can't do anything on Monday. So it would be maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, or Friday. What about you? What, uh... This is probably the best time. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. I mean, if we miss one as long as you're watching the video like it's nice to have people here so you can interact and ask questions and things like that but I know the majority of y'all are in the morning and you're you come all over so who knows about you but yeah so um, I know that 7:30 at night is typical but anyway uh, what uh, what was going on this week how are y'all feeling yeah, I feel fine I've been everything good except for I think I the side I ate good. Did I tell you? <laughs> yeah, I ate good. You make football tailgates. I tailgate all day long. So yep. I mean, I drank all day long. You did tell me about that. Yeah, but I ate good. That's good. That's good. And you're getting your workouts in? Yes. Okay. And sure. um, what about the weekly challenges? So, sorry, I didn't get on Facebook today, so I didn't uh, look yet, but got your meal plans? Uh, okay. Okay. No running. Okay. So. Yeah, yeah. So you're doing the. I haven't posted yet. I have my. Yeah. Prepped, I guess is what I'm. Yeah. What I mean, yeah. Yeah. I don't divide it into ready to go. I'm okay. Mm. My budget's Do you. Uh, I was going to say, do you have the. So I have a problem in that. If I don't put it in something <laughs> where I can just grab it and go, I cannot get moving in the mornings to like. Okay, now let me measure this out and put this together. And then I'm like, oh, what am I forgetting? I know there should be more to it. So I have to do it, but that's just, that's for me personally. You know, I've prepped all my stuff. I'm just not writing it now. Okay. Is that what you're talking about? Um, so this picture? week's, yeah, is to take a picture and post it on Facebook. Yeah, it's definitely lined up in the refrigerator. Just take a picture of that? That's it. Is it a bunch of salsa? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just fruit, boiled eggs, salmon. Okay. Vegetables. Yeah, you were saying last week you like to eat the cold salmon. I guess. Yeah. Like a protein bowl. Okay. So I'm doing it all. Yeah. I think it's too much food for me. Still, we'll okay. find out in another week or two. On the twenty fourth. I'm probably over that. I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. I never eat that much. So since uh, Mike did your first swim, yes. right? Um, I don't know what the numbers were. You don't have to say it, but um, he didn't show me all of them. Okay, he didn't show you. So then I got your second one, or your you know week one, and you so you don't know if you. I mean, my body doesn't change that much. Right. Really, I mean it's from like 184 to 191, just depending on if I'm working out and I'm gaining muscle or. Yes, the composition the belly, changes. It just yeah. Goes back and forth. <laughs> So maybe, do you think there's something different we should do to um, see more results? Or you think that... I think as long as I'm not eating junk and processed foods, <laughs> You're on track? <laughs> yeah. That's the way I see it. Okay. Okay. And uh, what about you? Well, I lost a lot between the way but I think I'm doing that with the water weight. Okay. Okay. How, how were you eating before this? Um, I feel like I'm kind of like in my boat where I felt like I was eating really healthy, but a lot of it. 
Okay. So and more portion control. And with this plan, I'm eating a lot more protein than I was before. I used to think as long as I watch kind of the unhealthier stuff, then I can have at it with my veggies and soup. So I will just eat that all the time. Yeah. Um, change. So I'm eating a lot more protein. I'm lifting heavier. I'm not in my but I'm lifting heavier. Yeah, I feel I mean, like the first week with a lot of water, but I don't think I'm gonna have Right, but that's that's okay though. Because like if you if you're changing your diet around, you're gonna see some sort of difference. And if you're eating a lot of fruit, right, we wanna keep that in check. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, increasing the protein, that means you're gonna be burning more too. Uh, as you build more muscle, it burns more, right, at a time, even just resting. So yeah, probably some water weight in there, but you know, hopefully we'll still continue to see some changes, even if it's not pounds. Um, I'm not sure how much you were looking to do or if you were just thinking performance and sleep and energy, you know, that kind of stuff. I was just trying to learn how to eat better so I wouldn't yo-yo so much. Yeah. Because I am fatigued, so even like <laughs> yeah. two or three pounds, you can more really feel it, you know? Yeah. And so I would do really well during the week, and then the weekend comes, and I'm just like, just putting my body through this roller coaster, you know? So yeah. Just, and then during the week, I try to yeah. So I just didn't want to do that. And so far, it's been a lot of it. Because a lot of it's been that's, holding yeah. steady. So yeah, that's great. That. And this week is much easier. Last week, I was measuring everything. And this week, I don't have to so. actively think about it so much. I, the glasses was a little overwhelming. Okay. It's clean and pleasure and it'll take me so long. Yeah, yeah, it'll even out. out. And then it'll, yeah, get a lot faster as you're going on. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, and I did see the, the boiled eggs. That was funny because it was, I was just talking to someone about an egg cooker last week because they were, the, the guys were going around the office talking about exactly how many minutes they boil their eggs for and then like the ice bath and you know yeah, like all yeah. this stuff after and I was like I use an egg cooker and yeah. <laughs> it comes out perfect every time <laughs> I guess yeah I don't know why I've cut my finger multiple times like you know trying to peel eggs I'm like ah. but yeah okay so um let's see what else for this week um, have y'all been reading, um, what's going out and, yeah. There was one article, I think, that someone that I read, that said somebody, I forget what it was like, about some sort of man that wrote it in there an article or something they sent out, I didn't read that. I didn't read the one today about that. I read that. Okay. It was something okay. else. Um, and I'm trying to think too, um, with the craziness today, I didn't quite prepare, uh, but I do know there was, you know, like the slow eating. Have y'all practiced any of the slow eating yes. habits? Yes, so hard. Not. <laughs> I've, tried, I've tried it a few times, but yeah, that's a, that would be a, that's a hard one. And hard even just like I try to just set my fork down so that it, I'm not just shoveling, but you know, that's what I, I'm like. I'm hungry. Get, get it in, or I'm busy. I just need something fast. I'm busy, yeah. 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 And then I'm like. Well, now all my food is gone. <laughs> and eating. then a little later, then I'm like, okay, I am full. Dang it. <laughs> or eating my snack when I'm driving. Right. Uh, but at least I'm eating. Yes. Like, like, <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Are you doing kind of like veggies and, or what are you veggies, doing for snack? Like a cheese stick. Okay. Some fruit. Um, for my car and my three on or the yep. egg. Okay. Pretty much. <laughs> I, I'm like, I don't know how else to get it's my impossible. protein for snack. It's that the protein for snack is really hard. It seems to be the almonds is a is a common problem, huh? <laughs> you have to eat more than that. It's hard. I mean, it's just <sighs> keep trying. Um, or pistachios, I like pistachios. Well, and if you get the ones in the shell, that also, like, 
makes it more complicated, right? Because yeah. then you gotta peel them before you can eat them, so maybe a little less. Yeah. Having to do the sunflower. You get the same I thing. Really good. Yeah. Well, I did that. Yeah, already peeled. Yeah, I'm on patience. So. <laughs> do you get the um, unsalted? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Unsalted. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is like a lot of the recipes or stuff on there. It didn't say salt was bad. It's not bad in moderation, yeah. right? Everything you read is like either good or bad. That's gluten. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, I mean, I think in general, everything in moderation is what it, you know, that's like, uh, if you watch the nutrition video, you know, when you get into these uh, different diets and things like that, right? Like, like paleo, for instance. Um, and I was part of that filming and I'm all, paleo is one, you know. Uh, but you're not eating all the um, starchy carbs, right? Um, but that's not necessarily healthy in the overall. That's more like keto and stuff like that. And it's it can drop weight quickly, but it's not necessarily um, sustainable, right? And so when you are adding those starchy carbs and your veggies and your proteins and your fats and making a nice balanced meal, that's gonna be more sustainable and you're gonna get all your, your macros that you need. So again, everything in moderation. And I was noticing um, after last week's meeting, uh, Mike posted on there talking about, you know, the question was, uh, Leah asked about timing, right? Like if you should eat at certain times during the day. I'm one that really does better with every few hours, personally. Um, and, you know, Mike said on the Facebook page, eat when you're hungry and don't when you're not. You know, it's just try to get your points throughout the day, but, you know, do it whatever works best for you. If you're not hungry, then don't. Um, I'm hungry all the time. <laughs> so, I feel like that's some I, behavioral issues. I feel like when I space it out on time, mm -hmm. then, like when I get to lunch, I'm not so hungry. So, even though my portion is much smaller than what I'm used to, because like, my portion is what I was not on before, yep. uh, it's okay because I didn't let myself get to a point where I was so hungry. So, even though I'm not hungry, I'm still trying to get this after because I don't know if I'm bigger than I'm Yes. I'm okay. yes. So yeah. I feel like that's how I can get by. Okay. It's good. Just never just. <laughs> I guess that's um, you know kind of all that we have for today. So I'll put that poll on on Facebook. Um, I don't know if you guys have any other questions or um, there should be you, some videos coming up. When do you make adjustments to mm -hmm. point system or? Yeah, um, you know we kind of like to look at it after each week. So if after week one, if someone's like absolutely starving, probably bump it up or like give it a couple more days and see. But you know. If you're noticing something, you think it's... I'm, I'm good. You're I'm good. just... Because um, Evan said I'm going to have to be... He's starving. Yeah, he's, he's still starving. <laughs> okay, yeah. I feel like I'm fuller. It's like I'm not oh, protein um, shake anymore now. But I didn't need to see breakfast. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to go and work. And some of the maybe a snack throughout lunch time. Not much lunch. I'm definitely eating a much larger breakfast than I'm used to. Yeah. That's a that's a common common thing with this, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, with him, uh, we should have a one-on-one -on -one with him and talk about exactly, you know, like let's see exactly what he's been eating and, and that kind of thing, and then we can decide if we want to bump it up. So he might have already had that conversation with Mike in the mornings, because like I said, I don't see you, you morning people. <laughs> I'd like to. I'd like to get there in the morning. I'm just uh, can't. Uh, but yeah, so... Um, that's another part of this whole program is, you know, y'all get one-on-ones with us uh, throughout the week. If you have questions, you know, flag one of us down, Mike, me, or Abby, and, you know, we'll, we'll sit and have a chat. And if, if anyone's not feeling like they've had enough or they have, they're always full and they can't, they still can't get it all in, like, okay, maybe we need to drop it a little bit or something like that, but. Do you, so for snacks, say, if you miss one of your macros, Let's say if I had my protein and my fat and I didn't do a carb, do you make it up later or do you try to make it up? I or think just if, try to get all of them in one. Like I'll snap, you should be getting one more one. So you want to try to get a complete meal each time. Even if it's a snack, it should have your complete macros. 
But, you know, if you're looking at your point system and let's say you had a little bit extra fat, you know, at your first meal and you don't have it at your second meal. Okay. You know, so throughout the day, you want to get your, your macros throughout the whole day. So I probably would personally want to make it up, but some people could go without. So it kind of maybe feel how you feel that day, maybe. Um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of the macros over the whole day. That's what I would try to stick to. And each individual meal, you want to kind of balance because it all works off of each other. Yeah, so sometimes during the day, to try to get those two snacks in during the day, we're going to work as hard as so all three. Yeah. And so I can eat one and eat another one. So you go to work. Yep. And, and stop and eat the other one. It's long work. It's hard to stop eating all the time. Yeah. Yep. And that's the hardest part. <laughs> yep. I mean, when I started this before, the hardest part was the big breakfast. I wasn't used to that, right? And so that's why I had to cut mine in half and eat it, you know, space it out. But if you're having a problem getting snacks in, then that's not going to be as easy for you yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to break something up. But, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I think there's, yeah, some videos coming up. Um, that one that I think I talked about last week. Um, and now the name of it is uh, escaping me, but it's like 40 minutes long, I think. Um, again, it's a good one to, to just put on while you're doing something else, as long as you can multitask. The one. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, no, that's the nutrition one. So it's a, it's a, it's another guy, and he's talking, he's hyping people up, um, and it, and it always gets us all going and excited. Um, and he's got some really interesting topics, and so. We can talk about that next week. I believe it's next week. So. Yeah, and so after after everyone watches it, I'll then we can it. kind of comment on it. I'll we'll we'll talk. Yeah, I'll make sure. I was, I'll put it out on Facebook as to when that one's coming. Um, but yeah, we can do that. Sounds good.